getting ready to kick off the eliminator round for the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. Eight drivers remain to chase for the championship. Currently, those drivers are Dale Jr., Jeff Gordon, Denny Hamlin, Carl Edwards, Kevin Harvick, Joey Logano, and Ryan Newman inside the top eight. Dale Jr. has the most wins with five. Jeff Gordon trailing right behind him with four. Let's get down here on your front stretch for your starting lineup. With only one win so far this season, Denny Hamlin gets the pull for today's race. And you have their smoke, Tony Stewart, who's never won in this series, starting in second place. In row two, we got Jeff Gordon and big bad Brad Keselowski. In row three, we have uh, Carl Records and Jimmy Johnson. Row four <laughs> consists of last week's winner, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Matt Kenseth, who got eliminated last week. Row, well, yeah. Row, row, uh, row five, we have Kevin Harvick and Joey Logano. Well, that we'd like to talk about Ryan Newman was definitely the lowest out of the top eight in qualifying. Qualified back there in 15th. It's going to be interesting to see how his night plays out. Anyways, let's get ready for tonight's... The fuck is that? We got fire in the booth up here. 125 laps up here for tonight's race. Let's get ready for tonight's starting command. And now, for the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome your Grand Marshal, seven-time champion NASCAR Hall of Fame member, the King, the one and only, Richard Petty! Drivers, start your engines! Start up when you're ready, man. Frank, when you're ready. Last time he went here, Kyle Busch managed to hold off Cliff Boyer for the win. Sadly, he got eliminated from the round of 12. So now he's pretty much going to be, him and Kenzie are going to be focused on helping out Denny Hamlin make it to the championship four. And here we go, folks. Getting ready for the green flag to fly for tonight's race. 125 laps. The first time we've ever done Martinsville at night. Green flag is out. Great stop for the 11 car already. Around turn four here, there's a bunch of cars three wide there in the back. Jeff Gordon to the inside of Tony Stewart for second. At the line, Denny Hamlin leads lap one. Tony Stewart's on the front row, and now Carl Edwards looking inside. Three wide there. You're going to sell it out. Brad's look like he's going to lose a spot there. Carl Edwards is now look like he's clear for third. No, Tony Stewart still put up a fight. He's going to try to pinch him and hurt his exit here, but... Looks like the car is just too tight. Edwards gonna take third away. Speaking of the gear ratio here is a lot shorter than it usually is. Actually, let's go more with LG. You'll see how easy they hit the chip. Insane here at Martinsville. Tony Stewart right now holding on to fourth. Dale Earnhardt Jr. holding on to fifth. McMurray inside the top ten. That's a first. Don't really see that often. Jimmy Johnson. Eliminated from the round of 12. Only has one win so far, but you know what they say. Championship hangovers definitely putting on his ugly head here for this season. Yeah, and like Jake said a while ago, the RPM, we had a different package here in Marzo to try to increase the passing more. Last race was pretty good, but NASCAR said they wanted to wanted it to be more competitive here. Speed of competitive is Newman. He looked like he's starting to climb up. As we know, RCR typically struggles on the shorter tracks. Their short track program isn't the best, but right now they had to bring something with this car. Right now it's all or nothing. A win here or a good look at the points over here. I don't think it's impossible for Newman to point his way in, but the safe way is to just go up there and win and gonna be keep an eye on that 31 here tonight. Definitely. Uh, Joey Logano there falling way in the back. Eric Amarola looking to his inside. Looks like he's going to get there. No, he's not. AJ now up there in the top 20. 18th at the line. Danica Patrick in tow. Kyle Bush to the inside of 22. Logano has not have a good handling on that race car right now. Falling to the back. No, and that's not what he wanted. He was only third in the playoff points. Um, people being in. Probably was on up under him, but now I don't know what it is live, but... 
surely he's probably on on the cut line, if not right up under it at this point. So 22 car not firing off the way it should be. Along with the other Penske car, Kozlowski, he's falling back too. Speaking of, let's actually overview our chase contenders right now. Denny Hamlin, Jeff Gordon, Carl Edwards are above it right now because they entered tied into this race. So these three are definitely the ones above it. Dale Jr. as well. Kevin Harvick right behind him. So Harvick is the first driver out. Dale Jr.'s last guy in. And this time by is 116 to go. Denny Hamlin's led every lap so far. Lap traffic up the road. So they're definitely going to be interesting very, very soon. Barry, and this is something that someone like um, someone like Harvick, Harvick and Logano doesn't want to see. You got the two guys at the bottom of the board, and he had those all the way in eighth and then he's currently leading the race, so we know that locks him in. And then we have Carl Edwards, which was he was seven, and he's showed to have a strong car here that looks like that he can win. These three is broken away. Junior is um, can't really tell yet. His car seems pretty content, but. Harvick is going to have to start going up there, too. And, you know, you got to think that the 14 car owns the car that he's driving and that 4 car, and he will try to help him out here. So he, he might Tony try to hold up Junior a little, maybe, but we'll see. Tony Stewart's never won in this series, so you'd have to, have to keep that in mind as well. Will he either help out his driver, Kevin Harvick, or will he go for a win to end that winner streak? I don't know. I mean, Tony Stewart is a businessman on uh, not on race day, so you know he's got to be thinking about that championship in the bigger picture. You know, I mean, the season hasn't went the way he wanted. The series hasn't. Think of that first win, but it would also mean a lot to get that championship too for the team. Lap cars up the road. Timmy Hill there and Travis Waffle. This is definitely gonna be really, really scary for Denny Hamlin, especially if they're side by side ahead of you. So yeah. Yeah, you know, Denny Hamlin, honestly, one of the ones on the very bottom of the playoff board. A lot of nerves coming in. He talked to me this morning and I asked him, I said, what's the plan? And he said, well, it's just like every week. Go out there and win. He said, but just the win means more. And honestly, you know, Denny Hamlin, you don't really see him too nervous. So I knew that this race meant a lot to him. You know, he seemed a little nervous. But if I'm Denny Hamlin here, you know, I'm not going to fight Jeff Gordon or Carl Edwards all too crazy hard. I mean, yeah, you want the win, but there's no need to make a mistake early. Burn up the tires, ruin your race car early. Because it, it really just matters in the end. I mean, and you know, Denny Hamlin, we've seen this season, last season, and really all the time, he's more of a long run driver. So all you got to do is just take care of his stuff, and he'll be there in the end. All right, listen to Jeff Gordon. He is actually, oh, geez, Edwards really oh, tight. Yeah. Edwards. Gordon Hamlin. Oh, man. Yeah. Close. That was the thing about Martinsville. Tippers are going to be flaring, so hopefully, you know, Denny Hamlin can keep his oh, emotions in go. check here. But Dale right now, he's Tony seeing Scherzer Stewart. There. Ed Harvick, he comes cut Denny Hamlin. Ed Harvick go, and oh! now Edwards gonna oh, get in the Gordon go. there contact go. there. Gotta hope that left rear tire can hold on. That was a pretty heavy contact there. As Denny Hamlin's gonna look like he's gonna follow Edwards here and get the spot, but the 32 car is really holding these guys up. Really off the pace too. Dale Jr. stuck behind Timmy Hill, gonna let Harvick go. Jeff Gordon on the radio isn't furious with Carl Edwards, but he definitely confused him what was going on there. Tony Stewart up in the third. Gordon As I say, look the pass there. Harvick got around Junior. Now Junior yeah, it's not good out. for Junior the points. Here comes Jim McMurray inside the top time five. and time again. Real life and stuff that most times the driver with the most Ooh. wins. I'm not sure what it is, but the guy that's been the most dominant the whole season just struggles at this race. Oh, and oh, Stewart's going to oh, want a save. Same thing with what a Hill. save. Hey, just putting him out of the way. What a save by Hamlin there. That could have been, not being that dramatic, but that could have been... That right there might have just saved the season. If yeah. he wins this race, oh, he was he, what a save! Wow, what a move! Oh, we're going up to second. Caution! Oh, we got a caution. We got a caution somewhere on the track. I think we had a spin on the oh, front yeah, stretch. I I think it may have there. been. It might have been a uh, slight sure. spin. Wait, where's Kurt Busch? Oh, Mark Martin has damage. Oh, someone's. Oh, Mark Jimmy Martin. Hill. Yeah, he has damage. All right, oh, we'll be right man. back here. At Martinsville caution is out. Kevin Harvick, your leader. 44 there he's been pretty slow Kurt's just oh, had enough hits oh. the wall and oh oh man. my god oh yeah Kislowski well Kislowski playoff contender has damage here let me look at the board here he was one of the drivers that was below the cut line first one out as it stood but now um 
you, know, you gotta think about it. Um, Harvick was the last one in. He's currently up there, I think, leading the race, if not second. Carl Edwards was second to last one at the bottom. He's up there in contention for the win. Denny Hamlin, the, at the very bottom, was up there leading laps. And it's funny because the guys in, I mean, junior, top of the board, seems to be not really having the pace. And Logano, I mean, he was third, and he has not having a one. He's struggling. He had that win at Charlotte, put on a dominant performance. Pinsky won, too, but doesn't seem like they have the same speed here today. All right. We'll be right back here at Martinsville. I think we will be coming doubling up this time by taking the green. I mentioned Junior. Junior is now fourth, actually. got in front of his Hendrick Motorsports teammate, Jeff Gordon, here. So moving in the right direction for the 88 here, but looking at the top three, I mean, Harvick. You know, not a must win at all. Just had to do good today. It's running up front. And then we have Carl Letwards and Denny Hamlin, the two, all the way at the bottom of the playoffs board. We're Cut line, you. whatever you want to call it. Um, it said to the short track, we don't have double file restarts. We have single file lap cars on the inside. And as LT, yeah. you can take it away now. Yeah, NASCAR um, wanted to do single file. They said they didn't want this race to dissolve in the chaos. It feels going to get spread out here in the corner. And now we're going to have... Well, move a chicane on the bottom here, so the leaders aren't going to really like that. Oh, Junior really loose there off of four. How about Ryan Newman up here? Yeah, Ryan Newman sent to the inside of the 24. Gordon is now out. Won the regular season championship by a, blocking it up. Definitely Gordon's been the best driver of the season, but it's hard to say who's been the second best. Mid-season, I'd say Johnson was, Kyle Busch. Right now, I'd say Dale Jr. is definitely taking that second place spot. Yeah, definitely. We're going to be calm here. Newman, we talked about RCR. Short track programs, not good at all, but he is up here oh, running with some road. of the big dogs. Hey, we got someone on the road here. Oh, Casey oh. Kane and David Gillen. Oh, I'm not sure what happened there. Logano. This, oh, Logano. Enjoy Logano. Oh, no. Oh, maybe, man. maybe they can't make it on fuel, so they're oh, what? man. Okay, I think maybe some going sort of, on. They might maybe be some sort of penalty. I'm not sure. Because everyone pitted. Everyone pitted down. Except them. So maybe they thought they could make it on fuel and they couldn't. So might have been a driver error for them. But now they lap down. They have to pray to God they have a caution to get the way around. Anyways, they skip back up there with their leader, Kevin Harvick, running oh, away. Oh, lights with out. Timmy and Hill yeah, is 22. Not helping Carl Edwards right now. He is 22. That's um could be a season-ending mistake there. And again, you know the win and you're in thing. So he can definitely win one of the next few races. And punches take it in. Oh, Timmy Hills let him go. Wait. Oh, oh he's going out there. Oh, he's coming down in the pits. He might have been pitted just think, to let him go. I got worried. Yeah. I think NASCAR told him to get off the track. I've never seen this. Haven't seen this in a while, but he was very slow to the point where they considered him a hazard. They told him to bring it out pit road and get out of the way. Oh, that, so Kozlowski has damage on the rear end. Leaders going to like that. Kozlowski has damage. He was caught up in that first caution. Oh, he got a little bit of damage. Boyer. Someone in the wall. Oh, man. Yeah, right. Qualified in six. Oh, it on the 18th with some right side damage. I don't think Timmy Hill's off the track. I think he'll be rejoining right around Cole Witt. So they did give him the black flag from what I heard to get him off the track away from Carl Edwards. Yeah. So now they're going to help them out. Uh, we're going to see if Carl Edwards even has any pace for Harvard. Right, let's see, 19-4. Nine, oh, he is still slower than him. Man, Harvick is just the beast. As you right saw now. there in the top of the screen, McMurray looked to be making the move on Newman. Speaking of McMurray, Eric Alvarez there as well. Kurt Busch there getting on Kozlowski for ninth. Jimmy Johnson and Kenseth side by side. To Austin Dillon up there in the top 15, man. There's a lot of underdogs running well tonight. There is. It's McMurray like he's going to get the spot on Newman here. Nope, Newman's going to drive it in there, hang on his door. Oh, he's loose. Yeah, yeah, tight there. Picks. Yeah, he's Newman, what he was doing there, picks. told people at home, he was trying to drive on the outside and pinch the exit of the one car so the one car can't exit the way he wants and he'll have a much tighter exit. And hopefully the 31 was hoping he can oh. get a run there on the outside, but driving that. in that hard is going to burn the tires up. I saw Mark Martin hit the wall. He looks like he's yeah, really on the, the wall. Base. Speaking of, there goes Logano. Logano definitely... I'm a radio. He said he thought he could make it. Stayed out, but then he pitted there because he saw costly he make mistake. It. Yeah. Twenty-two cars now. Fortieth, last, I believe, or third to last. Up oh, and Harvick's gonna catch <laughs> like, heavy lap traffic here. That could have been really disastrous. 
Carl Edwards definitely can't give up because he is the second fastest car on the track. Right now, top five is all chase drivers. Newman still on the outside of McMurray. He is not letting him go. Yeah, well, we've seen time and time again. Newman is one of the hardest drivers to pass in the field. So not surprised that Newman's holding this, but I don't blame him. I mean, he's doing all he has to do right now. He's, his season's on the line here. Um, I'm not sure what the next two tracks is, or is it still an elimination race? It's, no, it's Texas and Phoenix up next. So Texas and Phoenix. Okay, well, Newman, we haven't... Newman, honestly, I don't really think Texas and Phoenix is really good tracks for Newman. I feel like Martinsville, honestly, is the best for him, so he knows that he's got to really run well here so he can try to sneak by in the next two races. Well, I'll tell you that the only races he's... The whole race he's won in this series, he won the Breakout 400 in Season 1. Season two, he won Phoenix and Sonoma. This season, he won Phoenix and Las Vegas in a row. So Phoenix is definitely the race he is going to be fighting for the win. Phoenix is too, but also um, we got Harvick too. That's really good at Phoenix, so he'll have to go against him. Oh, here we go. Harvick is really oh, getting Harvick. held up. Oh my! Oh, here comes Jeff Gordon at the second. Gonna send it to the inside of Colwitt. Ooh, there he goes. He Don't know how he it. made it stick. Kevin Harvick. Oh, he cannot pass these guys on the outside. He said he's wrecking loose. Oh, There's no saying, grip on the outside. Carl has blocked the 11. Hey, look who's going for Harvick. He is oh. trapped with the lap cars. Oh, and he's now here comes Gordon. Edwards, Denny Hallen. As much as we said, as quick as oh, we said, Harvick loose. drove away. They're here. Gordon misses the bottom, and now Edwards is going to go up under him. He's going to stand it to his inside. Never mind. Gordon's going to block him. Here comes him. Oh. Oh, oh, here it goes. Oh, we're all stacking oh, up here. A little bit of payback there I'm for right earlier in the race. Yeah, Denny right Hamlin right wasn't happy about it. He's going to send it. He's going to try to take it away here in three and four. Looks like he's going to get the run. Gordon has now got past Harvick. And Denny Hamlin looking look to the inside of Harvick. Yeah, Harvick. I think Harvick may have a short run car here. He drove out really far and then um lap cars starting to pay the price lap cars i think he burned his tires up before he got to the lap traffic though he was starting to slowly slow down and the lap traffic certainly didn't help but as Denny hamlin is now back to second uh, i was gonna try to stay behind him they, somebody just got ran into i think that was david gill and gordon just oh, almost looking away. three wide oh look at it, three wide Three wide, Gordon's oh, three making wide quick work of these cars. He's gonna slide up, little contact on that right Hamlin's rear tire. Denny Hamlin's gonna follow. Man, what a race! He is so following far. him. Carl Edwards three wide on the bottom. Harvick Talk about Denny Hamlin. I feel like we haven't talked about him at all in this series, really much at all. He's had good runs, he's but been, he's been a championship contender every single season. So it just hasn't put all the pieces together. I know it's early in the race, but talk about it. Denny Hamlin wins here, locks himself in has two weeks to prepare for the championship i think he could probably do it he's ran i say decently well at homestead but if his team gets two weeks of a pair put together that car get it to his liking denny hamlin will definitely be a huge threat for the title if one, he gets to homestead one driver that will definitely be a threat is dale jr every single season at, at every time that we go to homestead he won there in season one to get the championship and would have won the race in season two but his jackman fell and it cost him the championship three points. He lost it to his teammate, Jimmy Johnson, who got his seventh title. But, and he finished third in that race. So definitely have to worry about Dale Jr. at Homestead if he makes it to the Final Four. So Definitely. He's, he's definitely Along with the, Edwards, too. Yeah. Edwards, all these guys, really, and Harvick. Really, all these guys. The only guy I say really hasn't flexed their muscles at Homestead really is Kinslowski and I think Newman. I feel like I haven't seen too much of them at Homestead as Newman is still battling the one car. Uh, McMurray on the radio says if he keeps holding me up, he's literally just going to turn dead right into him and put him in the wall. He, yeah. Sure, crew chief's laughing at him because he doesn't think he'll do it, but I don't know. Listening to him on the radio, it sounds like he will do it if he keeps holding them up. Because they have yeah, lost have our... seven seconds to the leader. Yeah. Right now, Newman, I think he's just trying to do damage control. Newman definitely doesn't really have the car that he needs right now, but he's trying not to lose too many spots, so he's holding him and the whole pack up. As Denny Hamlin. Hamlin. I talked about it earlier. Denny Hamlin is more of a long-run kind of guy. He paced himself earlier after this caution. And Another lead change. To the front now. Oh, it's all guy. It looked like he had to check up a little bit for the car in front of him. He has damage. His Hamlin's going to take the lead away from Gordon. He gives the Maybe not. Third. Well, he's really going to drive it in there to gain on him. 
Your top four right now is the four drives in. Those being Denny Hamlin, Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr., Carl Edwards, Kevin Harvick right behind them. Denny Hamlin trying to send it to the inside. Here comes Dale Jr. Gonna put his team out of the way. Yeah, Gordon. Oh, he hit the wall. Oh, he hit the wall. I think Gordon's car might be tight, but he's not gonna be happy about that, especially coming from a teammate. The way you see. Oh, he's not gonna be happy. Dale Jr. on the radio teammate. apologized. Told his spotter oh. to go apologize to him. Oh, wait. There a caution? Caution! Derek Austin's oh, out. Austin is out. Oh, it's on the back. What stretch. happened? Oh, oh Kyle Busch. Oh, Kyle Busch. Oh. Jimmy Johnson. Kyle Busch. Huge damage. Oh, my God. Caution is yeah. out. Jimmy Johnson always leaking oil. That's yeah, not Yeah, huge damage. Oh, it's going to be a while to clean this one up. Mm -hmm. I think Junior Gordon got to turn your back. Junior just let his Dang. teammate go. Kyle Busch is out of the race. Oh, they're, they're really checking up there. There's oil on the track. They got to really. Austin Dillon as well. Running inside the top 15, there's definitely a lot more cars of damage because Lowski rear end damage. I don't think he's involved. So Ryan Newman well, stuck behind Waffle and oh, he hooked him into Jimmy Johnson. Oh, Brooke. he is oh, hooked he did him. Not. Oh, oh it's he came back up right into Austin Dillon. <laughs> Where's Kyle Busch? Kenseth involved. Kyle Bush. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. I think Kyle got in the oil. That's why he couldn't get away from him. Yeah. Austin Dillon now with damage. Not visual damage, but definitely engine damage and such. Carson's out here in Martinsville. Only chase driver involved was Brian Newman, but no damage for him. Your leader is Danny Hamlin. One thing that you don't want to do that Newman just did is make enemies when you're a chase driver, especially with people that aren't chase drivers. We saw him, McMurray is fuming on the radio saying how he's going to pay him back and he will wreck the 31 car, rather it be today or the next two races. Johnson is very unhappy with him, and Kyle Busch is also unhappy with the 31 for causing that. So, 31 car, Newman has made three enemies, and none of them are in a chase with really none to lose. So, hey, you know, they go out there to wreck them, got yeah, none to lose. As we had, we have the 33 51, and the 40 car stayed out. Since they're gonna be very the interesting. Last, the, they're on the lead lap, but they're not with the leaders. They're gonna be ahead of them, praying to God for a caution. Green flag is back in the air. Right in front of all the fast guys, Logano. If he gets three wide, going to the turn one. Almost. Three almost. Three wide. Three wide, going to follow him the three wide with uh, three wide with Hamlin and Edwards in the um. I can't tell what car that is down there. Cole but Witt. three wide back there, Cole Witt. Oh, yeah. oh boy, oh, Hamlin's man. getting pushed. Right Hamlin's getting leaders. pushed out of the groove. Oh, oh another right, yellow. Oh, Come, got a caution. Caution again. Gonna what is go it right for? Austin Dillon back in the race. I think there's AJ because he's dead last. Let's look and see there. Oh, oh Murray, Murray gets turned. Oh my god. Oh my god. Newman has yellow. damage. I think he tried to get payback to him. Newman has I think damage. So. Tempest flag here at Marnesville. Oh, oh wait. Oh, Newman's trying to turn Truex. Oh. Yeah, he's not happy about something. Truex is the last guy. Oh, Danica Patrick oh, getting it, involved. Oh, oh, and he's trying to save it. Oh, oh he's and gonna oh, he's gonna turn him. Ah, uh, Newman. <laughs> what did he I say? That's it. another guy. Truex is the last guy you make an enemy. He talks like Dale and Hart, races like Mark Martin. All right, green flag is out. Casey Kane behind AJ. Oh, Logano sends, oh, Logano it, sends it into four wide. Oh, oh what a oh, family distance oh, of four oh, wide. Oh my God. Maybe that's why Newman had damage. Yeah, that's why Newman yeah. got the damage there. That doesn't explain why he dumped the 78. Yeah, 78 wasn't even near him. Unless something maybe happened earlier in the race, maybe. Maybe. Or I don't know. maybe he was trying to get down into the pits, apparently. Let's maybe. see. Maybe that, too. I mean, it is a little silly with how they get the pit road. Oh, oh he doored oh, him right oh, there. Biffle to McMurray. It was Biffle. Oh, tippers. Wow. <laughs> Man. That was interesting. Logano still a lap down. I don't know what's going on with him. I think he pitted so he couldn't take the wave around. That sucks for him. Jeff Gordon now. This time by is 61 to go. This could fly by. Dale Jr. has damage. Look at that little scuff yeah, over does. Yeah, Jr. does have a lot of damage, but it's Barnesville. He'll be fine. Going to wave the green flag here this time. And going Gordon, back to Gordon, Gordon with a good jump. Great jump. Gordon with a Scott huge jump. Oh, he can still look at three wide. On his, on his oh. teammate and driver. Whoa, almost in the wall there. Oh, there are three wide back there. Ambrose and Mears and I think David Reagan. Palmer pitting. He said on the radio he's not getting involved with a wreck, so. 
You know, Gina now side by side with David Go, and that might you know what happened earlier. Look at what happened with Logano. Logano said the car just feels flat. Says like when he gets on the gas, it doesn't go anywhere. Maybe a cylinder or engine starting to fill on the 22 car there. Maybe. Obviously not what you want in the playoffs or at all. Probably yeah, Denny started. Hamlin. Denny Hamlin has been, also been really run good run. on the long runs. Wait, I, I but uh, Gordon has drove away. The 38's not letting the 88 go. So I think whatever happened earlier in the race when they told lap cars to get out of the way, that might happen again. Let's get up there with the 27 and 3. Because they pitted. If I remember correctly, remember in 2011 in Richmond where Paul Mahler just spun out so his teammate can get a better chance to win? I think. Well, they made two, two RCR cars pit it. And, and well, Newman, Newman, that helps out Newman. That's two more points. And those two points can be the difference between being in the championship fight or going home. Newman's oh, yeah, got damage, that. though. Yeah, we got Black yep. flag. Yep, the 88. Oh, Black flag. Nascar told him to get out of the way because he's racing the 88. Mm -hmm. Now Junior has to look at Kurt Busch. Three wide in the middle. Man, I got close. Tony Stewart clears the 32. Never mind. Cole Witt pits Up as well. 26 going down. As we saw in the camera shot back there, though, one car is behind the 16. Might not go over so well. Up as... Okay, well... Lap car got in the way. Oh, oh and Ambrose. back got up in the one. Get up there with your leader. Oh, David Gillard merging right back into traffic. That's not going to go well. Yeah, I don't Never think David mind. Gillard is too happy with the penalty. Oh, God. That could have been disastrous. Just get up there with your leader, Jeff Gordon. Actually, I see the lap times here. 19419, 19470. So Junior definitely slower than him, but not too much. So but we did. We saw the same story with Harvick. Harvick drove out, short run car, got stuck in left traffic, and then everyone else was right back in the fight. So, yeah. Gotta see what happens here. Danny Hamlin, though, running fifth. Casey Kane and Joy Logano in between them. Tony Stewart back there in sixth. Seventh is Eric Amarola putting up his best race of the season. And funny enough, it's not at a play track, it's at a short track, which is one of his worst tracks. Another guy is Ricky Sinos Jr. running 10th there. Great Roush hasn't really, been, yeah. uh, besides that 99 car, Roush hasn't been all that spectacular this season. So good run for him. I think we got though. Biffle back there, too. He won at Michigan. There's three wide back here. McMurray is now getting, he's and pretty much got rage three wide with the lap he, he literally said on the radio, these Oh, Newman taking it three oh, wide. Oh, three wide at the that back. That was really a caution. Newman Almost. now is any time 21st now. Look at all He's going to look on the inside of David Reagan. Honestly, you know what? It's funny enough, call me crazy, but sometimes when you get damaged and that rear bumper gets torn up, it makes the less car driver. drive faster. Yeah, less it's driver. a lot looser, but that thing oh, is he flying. He's going to move it. He, he put he it. Thank away. God. Oh, Newman is making enemies left and right tonight. And all the yeah. other day now in front of him. He's going to, oh yeah, and he's behind the, we're going to see what happens here. Is McGregor going to let him go? McMurray uh, isn't going to let him go, but I don't think Newman's going to give him a choice. Yeah, McMurray oh. said these guys are driving like Brian Vickers in 2011. <laughs> oh, and McMurray's going to send it, try not, to get on his quarter panel. Not going to happen. Yeah, that 31 car with that damage, I think it's actually helping him. A lot less drag on that car. That thing is flying. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Hang on, let's get up there. Call Dale Jr. to hold up by Cole Witt. Gordon making quick work of the lap cars right now. Not really losing too much time. The 88 going to try to make the move. Oh, he got loose. Definitely not going to help him out. Cool Witt's going to hold him up a little bit longer here. He has to make the move on the straightaway here. Still getting loose. He can't make it yet. Get there with Jeff Gordon. Oh, he's running the outside. Never seen that before. That Kenny Wallace, Atlanta Castle. Waffle just got punted again by Mears. Right in front of your yeah, leader. You got traffic up ahead. Yeah, lap traffic. Actually, let's scroll through your championship contenders here. The eight drivers, Ryan Newman now. McMurray's passing him back, trying to get payback on him. 18th at the line for Ryan Newman. Let's get up there with the two of Kozlowski. Running ninth right now. Solid run for him. Even with a little yeah, bit big of recovery. Yeah, you know, earlier, really as big. soon as the race started, oh, as soon as the race started, oh, another spot, but as I was saying, as soon as the race started, he started falling back like a rock. He said he felt like a boat anchor that was just in the way. 
drive back to the top 10 now. Gonna try to pick off more spots and hopefully get a top 5 is what he said, but it's a little far, out of reach, but oh, never know here at Marsville. 26 down pit road. He's gonna help out Junior again. Speaking of, here comes Austin Dillon. 93 of Clay Rogers in front of him. Jeff Gordon is destroying the field right now. Definitely the best car of the night. And he's probably the only car with no damage, along with Carl Edwards. I'm terribly sorry, Carl Edwards. Justin Allgaier in front of Clay Rogers. Oh, and Edwards looked to go high on the 88 there. Oh, he's he's going to move the 88. Oh, oh he's the 88. Oh, he's not is, helping him. Edwards is getting impatient oh, yeah. here. Carl Harvick's there. there that's Casey Kane the making a move on Austin Dillon. Kevin Harvick. That's a spot for Casey Kane. He's looking for six. second now. Here. Judah's going to try to take a three here. He's, he's really, he said if he doesn't get out of the way next lap, he's going to wreck him. He's going to try to punch him. That got try close. To him. Nice save there. Look at that. There he goes. And there it goes. Three wide. Three wide. Oh, this might go. be you. This could get disastrous. Oh, boy. Just, well, so long, Carl Edwards. He's going to lose a lot of spots. Yeah, he's stuck on the uh, very, very outside there. Nobody's helping him. Clay Rogers nearly came down on Casey Kane. Lagrano's there. Top three, Kevin Harvick, Dale Jr., and Jeff Gordon stuck behind Kenny Wallace. He'll probably, well, not Kenny Wallace, Mike Wallace. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, all guy. Oh, I think Edwards may have gotten the wall there. Maybe. It doesn't look like it. doesn't look like any damage. Just go through the field. The eight. The 78 was letting the two car go, but 78 might realize he's so much faster than he's trying to make work of him. Kazowski said he cannot let him go. He was trying to be mean, but he just said he cannot let him go. It's too late. Give him handling three wide on the bottom. Look at that send there to the inside. And it's going to stick. See the gap there between the 88 and the 24. It is 2.3 seconds. Gordon finally gets around the 66 car. The 88's there. He's there. Dale Jr.'s never won on the paper clip. Ever. The highest finish I think he's ever gotten was 11th in season one. Oh, A. Yaley nearly blocked him. That's, oh, look at that. Look at the gap now. He gained six tenths on your leader. Any oh, word good. on what's going on, LT? Yeah, Gordon said the car is just suffering tight, 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 tight on the radio. And, well, as I said earlier, Harvick did the same thing. He drove out, and we thought he was slight time gone. And then he oh, slowly he slipped loose. back. He slowly slipped back there, and well, now the same with Gordon. I think they put the air pressures a little too high on that 24 car, thinking that they would last longer, but oh, now really the 24 is stuck in lap traffic. And the thing is, the more lap cars Gordon passed, the harder it's going to get to pass. When he starts getting to lap cars that were faster, exactly. So it's not as easy to pass them as a guy like, you know, Timmy Hill or um, Clay Rogers or whoever he is, moving to Kane, as... Mm -hmm. <laughs> as Edwards and Hamlin I feel like tonight they've been the two best long run cars and we are starting to get to that transi transition point where long run cars start to you know take a grasp of the field so Edwards and Hamlin is going to be the two to watch out for I think Tony Stewart they're getting held up by Kyle Larson and Justin Allgaard Tony Stewart says he's going to hit him on the radio so Kyle Larson definitely, he's trying to get out of his way, but he wants to get around Justin Allgaier, but he says on the radio, Allgaier is a moving snail. So, oh, he's going to move out of the way. Oh, Tony Stewart is to the inside. All right. Yeah, Tony Stewart isn't someone that you really want to make angry as Hamlin's getting by Edwards. And Gordon still stuck behind Casey Mears. Junior has to pray to God that Yaley just kills himself. On, uh, oh, and right? Harvick's going to push Yaley into the uh, corner. That's going to send him up. Wide. Ooh, that got almost close. Yeah, almost Yaley getting off the line. track. That Edwards looking on the bit. inside of Hamlin again. Trying to take that spot back. He, he will take it back. Keep in mind, they're coming to 30 to go very soon. Jeff Gordon's cannot get around Casey Mears. He says it's too tight and too loose at the same time. Yeah, Harvick he says he's inside. tight on entry, loose off of exit. Harvick, or I'm sorry, second. loose on entry, tight off of exit. Mears and that's Steve Horst. Oh, yeah, they still pitting. Harvick now up to second place. Here comes Carl Edwards for third. He's going to tuck in behind him. Never mind. Hamlin gets Love loose it. on entry. Legato to the inside. The, those two have had history, but I don't think it's going to play a fact this late in the season. 
I don't know. I mean, playoff hopes, but the 22 doesn't really have them to shoot for this race. This race is kind of a kind of, was kind of a dud once they went a lap down. Yeah. So. Going into the inside of Kennedy. Finally, he's going to get it. Harvick's going to have to get on the same lap car as Gordon was struggling with. And now Gordon's going to catch up to the lap cars and battle in too wide in front of him. Oh, oh no. Look at this pack. Uh oh, Gordon on the radio says, You have got to be kidding me. Mike Wallace nearly hits the wall. That helped out the 88. Hamlin losing a ton of time with Casey Kane boning Yeah, him. Hamlin's, Hamlin's uh, said the car's just too loose right now, so he's not going to have much time for the car to come to him. Fastest lap is Jeff Gordon, 19-3 in clean air. Kevin Hyrick, second fastest. Most laps led. Gordon has locked it up. So definitely going to have that bonus point, but Eddie Hamlin has a pole. So that means we'll have to wait and see here. The 88 punts the 13 out of the way. Only drivers out of the race, Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Busch, and J.J. Yaley. Or oh, Timmy Hill, my bad. Oh, this Gordon on the radio is devastated right now. He knows he, this. Oh, he got loose. Ooh, oh, into the inside. 26 to go this time by. Parvick's there. Oh, look, at, look at the speed difference there. Bowman is destroying his race right now. Yeah, Harvick's catching up. Let's get back there with Kyle Edwards in a battle with Benny Hamlin right now, trying to block him. Dale Jr.'s there as well. Do not count him out. Gordon's trying so hard to clear him. He's going to cut his nose off. 25 to go in Munsville this time. by. Here we go. Hamlin's just behind Kyle Edwards. Jr. to the inside of Harvick here. Can it stick? No. Man, that got really loose. Oh, Casey Mears! Oh, oh huge Casey contact. Mears! He's gonna take That's out. He's gonna take out Edwards. Hamlin's got Tony Stewart. And we're gonna have a yellow. Mike. Oh, there's still cars getting involved. No. Oh no, no. Edwards. Chase oh, contenders. Kissed him. And and is our championship contenders. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good punch. They're pitting. They they can't make it on tires. That's what they said. Now that's here's the thing here. This is what I gotta say. Hamlin didn't really hit Edwards too much, so Hamlin still can get a good finish. Edwards, on the other hand, I think he's pretty destroyed, right? and also he was seventh in the points here, so that means he's gonna go to uh, Texas and Phoenix. And really, player. really, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't I'm say it's that, must that. win yet. But he's going to have to basically run up front at both races. So basically, you know, he's going to treat it as a must win. Do you so, know who that helps out? Ryan, Ryan Newman. And also helps out Joey Logano, too. And Kozlowski. You know, yeah, that helps everyone that was on, that was in looking out in here. Uh, that helps well, AD, really everyone. On pit road. Hamlin might get the four car. Nope, Hamlin's not going to get him. Nope, he's going to get fourth at the uh, pit road. Kurt Busch fifth. Looking back on this here, it was Casey Kane that turned him. All right, so Mears gets loose on entry. Mir Kane gets right. Yeah, Kane just had enough of it. Turns him yeah. right back up into Edwards. Oh, oh. a little bit of air time there from oh, Mike Wallace. Least. Ooh, Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart gets in. And, and oh, the 40. Him yep. Ooh. David Gillen. Oh, Tony Stewart. Man, that's heavy damage for Tony Stewart. At the line, it's 20 to go. Dale Jr. is right there. Tony Stewart's the only lap car on the inside. As I say that, here they come. Paul Menard. Uh, there's a problem going on. Paul Menard is... Oh, is what in the world is that? Oh, oh, oh. Right oh. Hamlin. They're good, they're good, they're good. They're good. The world was going. I don't know why Kennedy didn't let him in, but here we go. Green flag is back Dang, in the air. Green flag. 20 back to go. Call Wick going to take a three on Tony Stewart. Oh, this is not going to go well. Three into turn one. Dale Jr. on the outside. Jesus, this is like a pack race now. Talladega was last week, folks. Oh. Oh, well, yeah, he does. Wait, Tony Stewart doing oh, his driver. Oh, man. Nearly Here we go. On a fun stretch. Dude, this might not be the last caution with the way they're racing. Indeed. Three wide, almost. Oh, oh it's almost through the, felt like it was almost through the whole field there. Got a story out at the front, but now they're starting to stack up in the back here. Carl Edwards is out of the race, looked at the ticker here. Clay Jones out. looking on the inside of Austin Dillon. And they turned him. 
Larson really turns Waffle there. Danny Hamlin the inside of Tony Stewart. Hamlin's still fourth, even though there's the Hornets that's behind him. Kate Brad Kozlowski, three wide in the middle. He is, I believe, outside the top 10. Just barely, though. And Danny Hamlin on the radio, in quotes, said, get me out of here. Cannot blame him one bit. Dale Jean is catching up to Gordon. Not nah, never mind. And Harvick's? Not. He's not. Harvick's there, too. Paul Menard there, our CR teammate. There, Denny Hamlin there getting around all guy. He's still holding on the fourth. Fifth place is Kurt Busch. Oh, and they're six. good. Oh, no, contact yeah, then. Oh, 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 and Tony Bush Stewart turns his Tony driver Stewart. and his teammate. That's going to be a yellow. Oh, that's, that that's is not going to go well over Austin in Monday's out. meeting. Nope. The two teammates are involved. Tony I'm Stewart. Involved in I just think you want to do his regular team. Oh, that Newman. Go up well, and Newman gets oh, turned. Oh, Newman gets Oh my goodness. Yaley had an issue with him there. I think uh, the 31 finally got what was coming to him. Maybe. Oh, Gordon! Oh, oh Gordon, Jesus. okay. That was close. They spotted it to him where they were pacing, so he nearly pile drove him. Anyways, Kurt Bush, they're out of the race. Let's get with him and see what happened with the caution. All right, so well, Tony Stewart like really Stewart's is off home. the pace. Sends it to his outside. Aw, oh, he clipped him. He clipped I don't him. Think the, yeah, yeah, he actually did clip well, him. Stenhouse. Yeah, that was on the 41's blind spot. And I don't think the 41 thought the 14 was going to be there with how fast he went by him on the straightaway. So, yeah. not really sure. It was kind of an optimistic move for Stewart. Not sure what he was doing, trying to send it three wide on the outside. But, uh, well, as I said, yeah, as I said, not going to go well on Monday's meeting. Uh, uh, Stewart? Oh, oh, no. Okay, Tony Stewart. Uh, is not happy with somebody. The 88 has damage now. What? He's trying to get oh down. Oh my gosh, Stewart. <laughs> he was doing the pit it. wall. 10 to go this time by. Oh, wait, I forgot to say what? just 10 to go. They will not double up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and guess what? Yep. No lap cars on the inside. That's been what's. They will double up? Oh, wait, no, that's yeah, 10 laps to go out. here. There will be no lap cars interfering this time. By. That's going to change the picture because Gordon, I feel like, has gotten away these last two restarts because the lap cars have held up second place and he was able to drive away. That will not be the case now. What can Junior, Harvick, or Hamlin do to the person that's dominated this whole race? Will it be another heartbreak for Gordon or will it be another grandfather clock in the living room? We'll wait and see here. 10 to go this time. Green flag is out. He gets the jump. Dale Junior struggles to get going. Hamlin's already peeking on... Menard, I don't think he's going to make him. the move. Paul Menard said he's going to play team orders here, trying to block Hamlin, so Newman has a better chance. Speaking of Newman, he's 18th now. Benny Hamlin stuck behind the 27. Gordon driving away right now. No contest right now. Yeah, Gordon had a short run car most of the day, I feel like. It doesn't help with Dale Jr.'s damage. Yeah, that side damage is not what you want here. Harvick holding on to third right now. Your top four in points. Jeff Gordon who, looking to get himself, kind of punch his ticket up there. Ryan Newman pitted. Oh, Ryan, Ryan Newman. Newman. Our chase contender. Ryan yeah, Ryan Newman. Newman. I saw it on the back He hit a fender rub and a little tire rub. And oh, oh, I didn't he think it was going to make it. That sucks. Looked like he was going to have a chase now. Oh, Truex nearly just turned himself. Oh, man. Logano not trying to pick up any spot he can. 15th. He's on the lead lap now. What a turnaround this has been for the 22 Kozlowski crew. up the road, 14th. Well, I don't spend most of this race. Last place, laps down. Another Do three wide. Almost. Ooh. Junior still losing time. McBurray fought for the top 10 early in the race. Now, I believe K Brad Kozlowski will be in the top 10 now. I believe Ooh, so. Rogers. What about Logano? Let's see here. At the line, he's in the top 10. They're in the what top a day. 10. What a day. Plus 34 to 22. 30 positions gained from when he was running 40 of two laps down. He couldn't what get a turnaround. Oh, Kozlowski. Casey Kane running the outside there. Probably going to let him go. Oh, here comes Truex. He is not going to help out Logano here. Oh. Casey Kane gets the bumper from Brad Kozlowski. Four to go this time. Junior lost a tenth to him. Marcus Ambrose in sixth right now. What a run for him. Yeah, what a run for the nine car here. Together the leader. Three to go this time by. He is lights out right now. Junior's starting to get his footing in, but it's too late. 
Gordon driving away. Three to go now. What a day for, what a night really for Jeff Gordon. Dominates the race. Dale Jr. right now. Doesn't look like he can get up there. I thought I heard tire smoke here. Jeff Gordon gonna add another grandfather clock to him. Unless something catastrophic happens. Well, hopefully it doesn't happen. Harvick holding on to third there. Danny Hamlin probably not gonna get up there to Harvick. That is your top four right now. First through fourth. Drivers in. Jeff Gordon entering three and four now. He'll see the white flag here. Jeff Gordon, this will be his 80th lap led. Dominates the race. And what a drive by Jeff Gordon. Yeah, what a drive. You know, Jeff Gordon's been so good here at Martinsville. Really dominant. Every time you go to Martinsville, Jeff Gordon's name is in the hat. Going to come off a of turn three and four here. Not only is he going to punch his ticket into the round of four, but he's going to add it as a grandfather clock to the living room. Junior second, Kevin Harvick third, Danny Hamlin fourth. Fifth place is Matt Kansas. Sixth place. Oh, there's a wreck coming over oh, the line. Oh, the red line, line. Larson. Oh, Marcus Ambrose, oh. Casey oh. Day, and Kyle oh, Larson. And oh my God. Oh, like tempers was flaring there. The wreck coming out, coming to the line. At least they crossed the line. Never thought I'd see that blowing up. Marcus Ambrose lost two spots. Clay Rogers not happy with some. Oh, doors landing castle there. Oh, Clay Marcus Rogers. Ambrose lost two yeah. spots. Keselowski seventh. What in the world happened there? It's been a crazy kind of day here at Martinsville. Oh no. Yep. Kazowski right on his He punted him to get that spot. Yeah, he no him. way. Oh, he punted wow. him. Oh, then he's. No way oh. he actually did that. Wow. He punted him. No. What a. No way he actually did that. No. He actually, made an no enemy. No way he did that. He made an enemy. He lost a spot. Well, Ambrose is not happy. He didn't even go down the road with him. Ambrose on the radio fuming. Still got a top 10, but it would have been 6th. But he got punted by Brad Kozlowski to get 7th. Greg Biffle takes 6th from Kozlowski. Man, what a performance there by Jeff Gordon. Top 10 only has 6 playoff drivers. Ryan Newman crossed the line, I believe, 31st. And Carl Edwards, 37th. So definitely must win territory for them. What a race. All right. Six lead changes, six caution flags. Gordon destroyed the field when it came to leading laps. That is 190 points there because he got the fastest lap. And Denny Hamlin gets 170 points. So there's a three-way tie for second in the standings between Junior Harvick and Hamlin, but they're in. Brad Kozlowski is the first guy out. And the one that is definitely going to be working on that is Carl Edwards. Timmy Hill got disqualified. Oh, interesting. Weird. Anyways, next up is Texas. Last season, that was an absolute crapshoot. I do not know what's going to happen this season. Have to wait and see. After that is Phoenix for the last race of the contender round, or the eliminator round. And then finally, we have Homestead. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank LT and Codine for being in the booth for with me tonight. We'll see you guys up next at Texas.